the Astronaut Beach House has been a staple at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida for more than 40 years. Astronauts use it as a place to take a break from training, bond with their crew, or spend one last night with family before launching into space. Spaceflight Insider's Jason Ryan talked with three NASA astronauts at the Beach House to find out more about its history. When you were down here just in training or if you were coming down and, and doing some of the Cape Crusader stuff, uh, the times were different, things were, I think a little bit more flexible and uh, it was no big deal to, uh, to go to our, our Queen Bee, Nancy Gunther, and, uh, and get the key and, uh, and come out here. And it was truly a beach house, not very fancy, not very formal, I mean, in fact, it was kind of almost in the mode of a sort of a, a bachelor pad that had been neglected, you know, there, there just wasn't a whole lot going on. But it was a comfortable place, nobody else came here, and uh, uh, as a crew member you could come out and, and really just put your feet up. I mean, it's, fantastic view out here and just relax and, and uh, have a, a couple of adult beverages. And, uh, uh, then later on, when you got assigned to a crew, you're down here in, uh, in crew quarters, uh, it was also, again, uh, more than anything else, kind of a refuge. Uh, uh, you could come down here individually or it wasn't uh, unusual to have uh, spouses here and, and have uh, some private time where you could you know, share thoughts and, uh, and, and to get ready for the launch. We primarily spent time out here um, during the launch quarantine week and you know so as a crew you could come out you could you know come out here and run you could come out and have lunch or just hang out and then and they've also continued that barbecue through current times which is great because again that's kind of lets your family get to see a little bit um, of see some your, of these your world places you know that yeah. you know all of us respect it that way too I think there's there's so much history here that you know, every time you come here, you know you're here for some event that you're participating in, but you know there's you know a lot that's gone on before you as well, which is just a really neat side of it. You, well, if you look down that way, you can see your vehicle. Oh yeah, that that is awesome. Is cool. You get a launch pad view from here. It's great. I mean, it's it's, it's a buffer. You, you, yeah, you're not going to learn any more in the last seven days. <laughs> Can't be cramming then. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no cram There's no cliff notes, right? Uh, no. It's well, a little, little downtime, and like you say, it's it, you know, a bit somber at times because you know what you're doing is. is a little it, there is a risk involved, right? And uh, you have to share that with your family and your spouse. It's just a real nice place to do it. Yeah, I mean, I appreciate that. You know, like you say, kind of the isolated aspect of it is that you can walk down the beach with your spouse and you know talk about whatever you haven't talked about yet, or you know just. You know, be happy about the fact that, you know, you're getting to go do this and, you know, what it really means. The Beach House was bought for $31,500 back in 1963 and has since gone through quite a few changes over its more than 40 years as the Astronaut Beach House. The crew went inside and reminisced on some of those changes. I was talking about, you know, I, I think my analogy with a kind of a, a slightly run-down bachelor pad probably wasn't too far off, you know. Uh, it was it was maintained, uh, but it was it was... You know, casual to the extreme, if you will, and, uh, um, and rustic. People, yeah, rustic. Rustic. Rustic's a good word. Very good word. Very good word. Uh, Actually, wasn't that a bedroom right through there, or a little kind of a little lounge? Yeah, yeah I, I think, there, I think yeah. there's an elevator. Yeah, there. now there's an right elevator. Now. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, you used to have to go down steps. Yeah. But it's a, uh, uh, you know, it brings back a lot of memories. I guess you know, again, going back to the uh, even the, uh, that uh, that last couple of days when you come down and have the, the, the uh, friends and family, and and I know uh, in particular like. I come from this incredibly small town in Ohio, and, and my parents had never been anywhere. And for them to come down and, and uh, then get to meet some of the, the folks from, uh, from the office, as well as uh, yeah. you know the, the, some of the senior officials from the program, and uh, they felt really, I mean, that was a really, really good memory for them to, uh, to, to be able to, to take part in all of that. So it was, yeah. uh, it was, it was kind of interesting. And, and it's from some of the, the really fond stuff you remember about it. That, that was actually one of the neat things about going through so many delays is because you're only allowed to bring out four. Right, right. right. Oh, wait, whoa, 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 wait. They'd redo so the barbecue? The, you can only bring four people? Yeah. 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 Your spouse and, and they, they had to draw a line that yeah. Yeah. that were yeah. others. Yeah. Okay. So, you you know, you have to, if you have three brother, three brothers and sisters. Who's your favorite brother? You know, yeah. So you have to, you have to. Just now, well, let me ask you guys a question. Did that make any hard feelings? I got left out of the beach house. I don't like you anymore. You're off the yeah, Christmas card list. You have to like tread lightly, maybe, but yeah. it's, you but know, they understand. I'm yeah, sure. Yeah, I think so. I yeah. don't think there's yeah. anything yeah. like that. One the time, hard part is yeah. kids, though. You know, yeah. well, you couldn't have the kids. You couldn't, you couldn't have, have your kids. kids. You can't see anyone under the age of 14 yeah. during the quarantine period. 
Oh, okay. Well, that makes sense. Yeah. I think our, all, all of our kids. Were yeah. yeah. So Daddy was going to a meeting. <laughs> Daddy always had to go to these meetings. <laughs> the beach house and the beach itself are not open to the public. However, astronauts can get special permission from NASA management to visit the beach house. That is, if they remember to ask management. The astronauts stop to talk about some of their more unique experiences. Running on the beach, uh, and we forgot to let oh, uh, Nancy know that we were going to come out here. Nancy? Nancy Gunner. She was the, in charge of the crew quarters oh, here. The Queen Bee. Yeah. Queen Bee. Yeah. Queen Bee. Yeah. And I, I was coming back down this way, back to the beach, and the SWAT team sort of came out from the bushes from nowhere. And I, Whoa, what happened? <laughs> They were, she forgot to let them know that you were going to be out there. No, we forgot to let her know. Beige <laughs> <laughs> and I used to uh, run down here and go swimming. Then somebody would come down and pick us up. And then one time we'd uh, jump in the water and gone, gone swimming. And the Air Force helicopter came over. And we thought they were just waving to us. when They were trying to get us out of the water. <laughs> and they, yeah, they, the they, brought, and... they brought back that picture. I mean, it, it, and, uh, and there had to be 200 sharks in the water right underneath us. I wonder yeah, if that's the same picture. That you it could have been. Wall. It could have been because they were like, "You idiots! <laughs> <laughs> we weren't waving at you. We were trying to get you out of the water, <laughs> and, and we we're just kind of waving back." And hey, out. what's going on? <laughs> never, never knew until. No. <laughs> the astronauts gave Jason a tour of the house and stopped at one particular part, which holds a special memory to many a crew. Uh, guys, yeah, I'm gonna try to find either 28 or 33. I think those would probably be the. Here's 133. Uh, Did you buy 133? Yeah, there's oh, 133. There yeah, look, no. we, had, we had good taste off of that one. Yeah. <laughs> the Vuv. <laughs> what is that, Heineken? So we're yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we went champ champers that time, champagne. Yeah. Okay, so let's see. And, and there was this tradition in the past. I don't know if it's still oh, yeah. there. It's still there. I know we did it. I know what you're talking about. Did you do that the yeah. first flight? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Well, I think I know what you're talking about. Yeah. It's a wine <laughs> bottle. Signing, yeah, signing, putting signing the wine bottle. And my, my mom had... Uh, found a, a, a winery in New York that was called Space Shuttle Wine. And they gave us some Space Shuttle Wine. And so there are bottles down yeah. somewhere in there that say Space Shuttle Wine. Did, did you sign it? And, and the whole crew signed it. Right? So oh, okay. Spouses, so Cruz's spouses signed, that, signed the bottle. And they're, they're all over the place. Right? They used to yeah, be on the They used to be all over the place, like up along on a, a bookshelves and all around. And when they cleaned the place up, they, there's now a very nice display, display downstairs. With, they're not all displayed. I, it's fun. Remember, there was a time when uh, when they were actually etching uh, bottles too. And, yeah. Uh, and a couple of times we had the, the people who had that process actually brought the bottles out. And we we etched the glass. Oh. So I, I, oh, really? Laser, with, with the laser etching? Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Cool. We had some we had some wine made for 133 in in Houston. A, lo a local winery yeah, there, yeah. they bottled yeah. it. And it was with the 133 patches, the labels, yeah. and then. And then they made some of those big bottles. I don't know what they're called. Oh, the big, huge one stuff. with the etch, etched colored patch. They got one of yours back there, Sam? Both. They got both of them now. Both of them. Yeah, there's the 35 here, 67. This one does have a patch on it. Yeah. But it's fully got special yeah. line, too. Yeah. How about if you, want my, line. if you want my last bottle, I'll be more than happy to yeah. donate it to you. These guys went for the Russian standard, which yeah. is not oh, surprising yeah. given that yeah. 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 Oh. <laughs> These used to just be on the mantle up here. And are laying around on desktops and things like that. Yeah. This is very yeah. nice. I mean, it's, it's museum-like almost. Yeah. All of this is new. I mean, this this nice wood flooring. Yeah. It's nice. Go for main engine and start. We have main engine and start. Two, one. Booster ignition and the final liftoff of Discovery. A tribute to the dedication, hard work, and pride of America's space shuttle team. The shuttle has cleared the tower. Space shuttle now rolling over onto its back for the eight and minute ride into orbit. Discovery now making one last reach for the stars. Maximum pressure reducing the stress on the shuttle as it goes supersonic.
Discovery Houston. You are go at throttle up. Will Commander Steve Lindsay acknowledging the call from Capcom and Charlie Hobai as Discovery's three main engines throttle back up. Lindsay is joined on the flight.